Hi guys, it's Rogan Rami, and now I'm here with my perfume collection. So I have three in my lap that don't really have names to them. Um, so I'm going to do those three first, and then I'll move on to the other ones. Um, I've been looking for a name, and all this one says on it is Elizabeth Ardent. So... This one's okay. Um, it's definitely a little bit floral. I got this for free somewhere. I don't know where. Um, it's definitely a little more floral than I usually wear. That's why there's like nothing out of it. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's there if I ever want or need to give someone some sort of perfume. It's there for them, I guess. And then, this one doesn't say anything on the bottle at all. It's just like, a warning, do not put in eyes or swallow. Um, this one, I believe, was at my parents' house. It was just in a box that they gave me to take with me. It does smell pretty sweet, but it is pretty strong. Um, it's not really my favorite, so I probably won't ever use that, ever. <laughs> and then this one just says, Hellbrook Perfumes. And that one's okay, that one's nice and sweet. This one is just way too strong. I don't ever see myself using that. <sighs> so actually, I'm going to put this over there. I'm not going to put that back in my perfume. <laughs> um, and then we have another little one here that's Aqua Allegoria. It has this cute little like decoration on it. And this part actually lifts off, and there's a little water inside of it. I'm trying to spill it. See, it has a little water. And that one smells okay. It smells a little florally, and it's not too overpowering, though. So, next I have Forever Red from Bath and Body Works. Um, this I actually got in my influencer box. And it smells nice. Like, I was really happy with this smell. Ooh. Right, next is... It's a Just Like, so this was a free sample that I got. Um, it's just like woman dames is not connected with in any way with obsession. So it's a take off of obsession. I'm not a huge fan of that, so I'll probably put that over with the other one. Actually, let me see if I'll yeah, I can see myself sometimes using that, possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Uh. And then the next one is just Sedgwin's Hand Blended Oils. And this one is called Opal. And that smells really nice. It smells... It smells almost minty, which is nice. I like it very nice for like in the winter. And then this is Playboy perfume. It smells pretty nice. I believe someone gave this to me actually from their perfume collection. Like one of my friends. So I wasn't really into perfume. I had like two perfumes. Yeah, I had my Alice Wonderland one, and I had Hyper. 
And that was all I had, and I was asking people for some perfume to try. And this is one of the ones that one of my friends gave me. It smells nice. Oh, there's a smell. Yeah, I like that smell. Ooh. I'll just go on to Hyper next. Hyper is from um, Hot Topic. Well, it's distributed from Hot Topic. It is originally from War Paint. War Paint Beauty. I have a bigger one over there. That's why I was checking. Um, this is a very nice sweet smell. I love sweet smells. Um, it's very light and sweet. They had, I think there was three different scents. And the hyper was the one I liked the most, so I got a little one, and then I got a big one, which we'll you'll see later, and I'll show you the difference in sizes. Um, the next thing I got, I have, is an Alice in Wonderland perfume. I did get this as a gift, so I have no idea who sells it. It smells nice and florally, but sweet. So, like, this is what I use when I want to use smell florally, and this is what I use when I want to smell like sticky, sweet, like sugary sweetness. And then, my mom had this in her bathroom, but she can't use perfumes anymore, so she just kind of was like, here, have all the things in our bathroom. That's how I got those as well, and a few other ones here. Um, so she just kind of was like, here, take them and gave them to me. Um, so, I haven't really smelled any of these, really. And this is Joyful Garden's Stolen Moment from Bath and Body Works. I'm not a huge fan of the smell. It definitely smells more like alcohol than anything else to me. My mom was a big fan of floral scents, so I'll probably just keep this just to make her happy. Um, it is a pretty big bottle as you can see, so before my mom became allergic to perfume and scents and stuff, she was really into like wearing perfumes. And I do like the bottle as well. I think it's really pretty. Um, but geez, that is a lot to use. Like, it's apparently a fragrant body mist, but it's pretty much perfume. Alright, then on to the boxes of stuff. So this one is Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue. Ooh, the bottle is pretty. Looks like a column. So I'd show you guys what the bottles look like as well. And of course I can't smell anything, so I'm going to spray it. Onto the box. That's what I do with the ones in the boxes. I spray it onto the box. That way all I have to do is smell the box. I don't have to open the entire thing. I'm going to wave it around a little bit so it can dry, so I'm not smelling the plain alcohol. It's a little strong for me. It's a little musky. It's definitely like that richy perfume smell that you smell in people. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's like when this girl walks in, you know that like her husband pays all the bills, I guess you could say. Like, it's definitely that, like, when you see the woman in the movies that have, like, all the jewelry and they're, like, with the, the main guy of the party, it's kind of what I imagine when I smell this. It's definitely not my favorite smell. So, but I don't know, someone else might like it. But it does have a little bit of a floral scent to it. So I might give this away in a giveaway.
Yeah, I'll probably give it away in a giveaway. Alright, on to the next. Next we have Rue 21, etc. perfume. I guess I said a Rue 21, etc. Um, my mom and I were sharing this for a while, but, uh, because we split the price, and, like, she wears perfume when she's able to, but a lot of times she's not able to, so she was like, hey, I've had this for a while, well, you have it now, so that's pretty cool, um, and it has a little, like, puffy thing on it to keep it from spraying when you don't want it to spray, and then you just take this off and you're able to spray it. I have used this already, so I do know what it smells like, and I know that I do like it. Let me just shake it up a little bit. There we go. Now all the sparkles are in it, too. Nice and sparkly. Um, it's very sweet. Again, I really like the sweet smells. Um... It's, like, sweet, but with a little bit of, like, a flowery scent to it as well. And, of course, it doesn't have, like, the ingredients or anything on it. Um. But I like it. And I was really happy that my mom and I chipped in. Because it was $10, which is... I mean, it's an okay price for perfume, but not really knowing how you're going to like it when you're out of the store that it's being sold in is a little intimidating at times when you're spending $10 on perfume. <laughs> um, that just made me sound really, like, poor, but I don't really like to splurge on perfume and stuff a lot because I do have quite a bit of perfume, as you'll see when I go through with them. Um, and a lot of them I got for from sales, from Hot Topic or from the dollar stores, like, off-brands like that, or I get them as gifts. Um, one of my most expensive perfumes I actually got as a gift. So, that's that for you. So, this is my second most expensive perfume. I guess I'll show you my most expensive perfume right now. And that is the Pink Sugar Perfume in the, I think this is supposed to be 1.7 fluid ounces, it says 1,7 fluid ounces, so, and this apparently was twenty nine ninety five wherever they got it from, and it's originally $35, so this is definitely my most expensive perfume. Um, that I have, and I love this scent. I wish it wasn't as expensive as it is because <sighs> so amazing. But there are like copies of this scent for cheaper, which I do like. Um, I actually found one of them in my CBS in a mix and match, so I might go and try to find that. It's called Sugar Candy. But I love little sets like that that give you, like, a few different things to try because you don't want to spend, like, $5 or $10 on a thing of perfume that is encased in something that you can't smell. Um, so sometimes I'll go to Sephora or, like, Ulta and I'll just, like, smell the different things and write down the ones I like so that I can go and look for, like, a take off of them that are cheaper, because I'm not going to spend, like, $30 or $35 for perfume, you know? Um, actually, I think my most expensive perfume is from Lush, and it's the Creamy Candy perfume that I had to find on eBay and buy it, um, because I didn't have the money in the bank when they were doing the forum thing. Okay, so next is Hyper from Warpaint Beauty, and this is the bigger one. 
so you can see the big one compared to the small one. So this is an itty bitty little size and this is a big one. And this was originally twenty dollars, but I got it for five because it was half off because they were having a sale on all of their um like everything in the store was half off. And then it was another fifty percent off of that because it was war paint and they were going out. No, it was it was half off because it was war paint and they were getting rid of them and then it was half off of that because everything in the store was half off. So I got it for five dollars, which I thought was awesome. Um, I got a lot of makeup from them as well. I guess I'll go into these ones next. These are all my like, dollar store ones. Um, like these were literally one dollar. And we have our version of Paris Hilton by Paris Hilton. And these are all from Giordanchi. And I like the bottles. They give you quite a bit in it. Um, I'm not a fan of Paris Hilton at all. So even though her perfume smells pretty, I would not buy it from her. I would go and buy the cheap version. And this smells really nice. It's it's definitely like a sweetness to it, which I definitely like, obviously. And then we have their version of Forever by Mariah Carey. And this one is a purple. It's very pretty. And again, this one is nice and sweet. I do like the little cover that they have on it. Nice and sweet, but with a little bit of like a floral hint to it. And then next is their version of Hello Kitty by Hello Kitty. I, I'm not a Hello Kitty fan, but it was a cheaper version of it. And this is the sticky sweet smell that I that I'm in love with. I didn't even know that Hello Kitty had a perfume until I saw this and I was like, okay, apparently Hello Kitty has a perfume. Whatever. And the last one is their version of Ed Hardy by Christopher, well, no, by Christian. So it's pretty much looks like Ed Hardy. And this one is like a darker pink in color, like a red almost. And as expected, it's definitely floral with a little bit of a musk scent, but also, you know, sweet perfume. Alright. And then these ones I got from a Dollar General, so they were, I believe they were five dollars? I think they were. I have three of them. Alright. So the first one is Tattooed by Inky, which is pretty much a take off of Ed Hardy. See guys, the bottle. It even looks a bit like an Ed Hardy bottle with all like the tattoo stuff on it. And again, floral with a little bit of muskiness to it with a little bit of sweetness mixed in. Definitely a girly perfume. And like even the box inside was decorated which I thought was pretty cool.
And then we have Yes Yes, which is their impression of Can Can by Paris Hilton. And this bottle is really pretty. Look how pretty that is. And this is like the sticky sweet sweet smell of hers. And then we have Hotness, which is their impression of Beyonce's heat. And this bottle looks pretty cool too. It's like a genie bottle. And this has a bit of muskiness, but it's definitely like this sweet musky and a little like not much, a little hint of floral, just a little. But it's mostly the musky sweet smell. And then the last thing is the sample box. Which, you know, I'm actually not going to open this because the video is getting pretty long, so I'll just go through. I liked the Hello Kitty, or the, the Kitty Girl. It was nice and sweet, as well as the sugar candy, obviously. Love Sick was okay. Um, it definitely wasn't my favorite. It's definitely more of like a every now and then. And I'm not sure about the Aqua one. The Aqua Giovanna. I'm on the fence about that one. So I'm going to do a little giveaway right now on this video. See, someone out there is going to like this. I'm going to give away the Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue perfume. Um, so, if you would like this, please comment down below what your favorite... I'm going to go with impression of a famous perfume is your favorite. Um... Or, or a perfume that you would recommend for me. So let's do that one. Let's go with a perfume that you would recommend for me. Based on my likes that I already have. Name a perfume that you would prefer, that you would recommend to me. And you can be entered in to get this Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue perfume. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll probably do my sprays next.